Hello there, I am Manning Yo, and welcome back to the Road to Summer Fall Furious account yet again. I did a couple of the, what are they called, challenges here, so that I could get some more, a little bit more XP, but mainly just some tiers, which will mean that I can get another 3000 tier pack in just 9 more games, hopefully, assuming I win, maybe a bit more, because I don't know if I will win these. I obviously cannot kill that. What's the worst you can do with this? You can go here and teleport it here and hit twice. That is pretty bad for me. If they do that. Could go here actually. Maybe I should go there with my stabby then. They're probably gonna hit me with this though. And that is a very large amount of damage. This should probably be here, if not even further down. Pretty sure I'm screwed in this match, because these are very high quality units. You go like here, teleport this here or something, that would be pretty bad. I just don't want him to be able to teleport onto this. That's the main thing. But the problem here is he might just push this over and straight up kill the stabby here. Which would be very, very bad for me. Maybe I need the Hevo to actually go down here. And stay there or something. Or maybe I should bring the Jin Sting down. That's probably a better idea. Do it like this. Or something. Either way, I don't think it's going to be very good for me if he just straight up kills the stabby here. But hopefully they don't do that. What were you doing here? You can actually only attack with this. So we could go up here. With a unit right now. This thing can't attack. Maybe we put it like this. And then the razor mouth goes here so that we can kill this if it goes in. K9000 can sit here just to protect a little bit. And then we bring a primate into mother load maybe. This thing is kind of annoying but I don't really have anything fast to deal with it. Could also go Gralian next turn maybe depending on what they're doing here. That would, like, probably change my play if they bring some specific phobies. Okay, they went in here. It's a little bit scary. For me. Obviously this can do something pretty good though. Maybe at least. This probably just has to hit and run, I think. Maybe I kill this even. Like this. Oh, then I should hit with the Murderling first. What if we do that and then we bring this out? Because otherwise we can't really kill that. We could hit it with both of these, but I kind of want to bring, bring it out here so that I can hit it with the Erratic maybe. Also, I wish this ability had lobbing on it. Or something like that. Have to move this to do this though. Which is also kind of annoying. Don't think I can really kill all that much actually. The erratic can't really hit anything that is all that relevant here. Unless I teleport it down here. But that's also kind of bad right? Could do something like this. maybe it seems a little bit weird because this is gonna get frozen if i do that oh, i shouldn't attack there how much i'm trying to see how much it is 800 we do this maybe we blow it up kill these two
Like this, maybe? Oh wait, then I can't kill this, right? Yeah, I don't have enough hits to kill that. Probably would rather kill that than anything. It's kind of hard to do stuff here though, because I'm gonna get one of my units frozen, which I'm not very excited over. Guess I should just do my first play then, and swap this thing out here. To kill it. Kind of wanted to kill the stabby though, and this can't really hit anything all that relevant if I do this. This being on the spa is good though. Maybe I just do something like this. It's so bad to not kill the stabby here with the bomb though. Is this better? And what I were doing before. Maybe it is. Wait, why is that not dead? Oh, I didn't attack yet. Maybe this is better. Let's see, they freeze this, kill this. Or maybe they kill this. Freeze one of these. Or they freeze this. This actually looks kind of fine. I can maybe retreat with this and heal it. Or even go all in. Just have to see where they put this freeze. They might put it here or here. I think they kind of have to use it soon. Okay, so they went completely on aggressive here, which means I just do this, I think. And they die, right? I think so. That should be more than enough to kill them next turn, even if they take back a panic point. I can also probably kill the thing if they take a panic point, so it's fine. Even if I just end up fighting instead. Oh, this was the game where I'm getting hard rushed, right? I believe it is. I can't even really kill that, right? Unless I want to kill that in another way. How could I even kill that in another way though? I would need a Hevo maybe? Is that even enough? I don't think that's enough, is it? No. Because so I wanted to kill that thing. What can I do here then? If we do this, we're just never killing the snake, right? Can I let the snake live though? Don't know if I can. This seems kind of sketchy. Actually, I couldn't use this to just hit the snake with, right? Like this. Letting the snake live might be worse than letting the jar live though. I'm not sure. And then we just want the maximum power unit here, which would probably be mother load, right? Don't really have any great place to put the mother load, though. I feel like there should be a better move than all of this, but maybe there just isn't. Hit this. Maybe I let the jar cannon live, but I can't really let the jar cannon live, I feel like. That's just a dumb idea. To do. They still have three keys here also, which is a bit concerning. What if I destroy this tile? I can't kill it then, right? No, because that's essentially just missing 460 damage. I'm not gonna make that up with one unit. If only I had another good flyer to deal damage to them here, or something. Like either a good flyer or a good lobber. That would have let me kill this somehow. But I'm not able to do that here. Probably can't stand next to this either. With my Myrtling. Could go over here with the Gralian, but I don't know if that's worth it. Could also just put this in here. 
Hopefully we can always kill this next turn. Yeah, we should be able to always kill that. So we just need to make sure they don't take points here. I could like drone here and go for my heart, but I don't think they're gonna be able to finish me fast enough. This one's just a loss though, I think. I can't kill the Nocturus here because it's higher level than these. Don't know if that would even be enough at base. I think it would, maybe. Can't remember. At least we get the kill up here on the Stabby though. Oh, Stabby. Erratic. Uh, we have to like hide far away with this. Now they can only hit this if they go onto lava with this. Which would be good for me. But I don't think they're gonna do that. I think they're just gonna poke it with this maybe. Set this here and hit it once. The difference between an inoculus or a tractor or a repeller being two hits or three hits is insane. Like that is a huge, huge difference. Can I let that freeze me? I feel like I can't right now. Even if I put this next to it, it wouldn't be nearly enough to just let him do it. I could, if I had upgraded this, maybe I could let him do it. And also not really, probably. Could just put a one key in front of it. How bad is that? That's pretty bad though. Mm, I think I should just stay here. We can destroy this tile at some point next turn, maybe. Seems okay. It's fine if they get a bit of middle control here. If they are using a more expensive unit to do it, that's completely okay, I think, for me. Did they really not go more aggressive than this? I thought they would actually go all in here. Because I were being very annoying with how I placed things. But apparently not. Problem here is I don't know if I can kill that. Oh, I can kill that. That's good then. I can just ball this thing. Problem is I kind of need to get to this. And I can't really do that, I don't think. Unless I move this down here and hit. But then this is surviving. That's also kind of bad. And this is being put on fire also. That looks a little bit bad. The alternative play would be what? Like... This... This is also kind of bad though. I hit this once and I move this in here. That's probably worse. I think it's correct to move the stabby then. It's gotta be. The only bad thing about all of this is that I'm gonna go to a wee hill on this block if I do this. Which I'm not a big fan of doing. Maybe the other play is just better. Because I'm not getting a weed nearly as hard if I do this. I can't really bring a bomb up here if I do this though. I have to put it here. That's rather bad also. But I don't want to let him like hit four units by hitting this thing. That would be a stupid idea to do. Put this here so he can't use the buff to kill this. Yes, so. Even though it will just die in one hit to this and then the same thing will happen. Was that even worth it? Probably better to just do this. Problem is I'm losing so many units here. He's killing... Probably killing this and this and maybe this is what I'm thinking. Move up here, kill this. I can maybe he just ignores that. Move up here, kill this, kill this, and then he moves in here and hits there maybe to kill my bomb. The bomb is just not very good here because of the klepto. Maybe I have to place it like completely separately from everything. Here it just doesn't do anything though. 
is the problem. If I place it up here, it will get a reed somehow. Maybe we hit twice with the alligator instead, and then move this in. That way the bomb can sit without anything next to it. Lock the healing spa with this. That's probably a little bit better. Not a whole lot though. Mm. This block is really screwing me up because otherwise I could do the other play where I kill this. But like him hitting Klepto twice there and getting like 800 damage a hit is too much, I think. Can I upgrade my... Yeah, I can. Would upgrade the Contour Show here. I still want to unlock the Clinical really, really badly. Probably upgrade this also as the next one. And then maybe some of the level 1 things just to get some stress points or whatever you want to call them. Wow, this lift with 8 health. That is pretty nice. Can I even stay here with my mother lot though? This is so much electrical stuff. Also can't even hit with this on anything. As far as I can see. It has to be brought back into the eating spot here. Because otherwise it dies without doing anything. Also need to make it up towards this or it will get onto my heart. Which would be a little bit bad for me. Honestly think I just leave the K9000 to die here maybe. Put this here. Put like this. Maybe the bomb should be further out. They can't actually kill the bomb if I place it here actually. Like right. If I just do this, they can't kill it and it will be able to hit them if they walk up. Then we just do this. Because this setting here doesn't really do much. Or does it? Maybe I should just not take that point this turn. Guess I'll do this then. And then we have six keys. I were bringing this right because they have a million of it, like mechanicals too. But this one up here is gonna move over here and become a problem if I do that, which I don't really want it to. So that probably prevents me from doing that plan. How much is this if it leaps off? It's 40 extra. Like 804. Now that's a little bit too low, I think. Unfortunately. Because otherwise I could place that like in here somehow and maybe threaten that thing up there. I wonder if there's any way for me to even threaten that thing without bringing Hevo up. Don't know if there is. Because I can't even get close enough, right? With multiple units here. Actually, I could bring more than one thing. But they would need to be ranged. So I can't even do that. I'm just gonna bring the Erratic. I can figure out what to do against this next turn. I have plenty of health. Should be fine. have to bring something up here next turn though, because this sitting on my heart for like two or three turns will just end up with me dying. It's a very high damage unit. Can I kill that? wonder if I can. If I just go all in like this. I don't think I can. I just lag a little bit of damage here, right? Unfortunately. Yeah, 87 more damage. I mean, if I had a snowball, that would just instantly pop. But I obviously do not. Then what do I do? Do I just sit back? 
Maybe I put this here so it can go onto the stem if needed. Put this over behind here. Fly this in here. It's gonna just sit there. Bring a Gralian just to threaten his things. Now if he moves in and hits the Stabby, he will just die. Gralian is such a bad pull here compared to if I had Moffat, but I don't really have another option outside of it, so whatever. It's my only puller right now. I still really, really feel like they should give Gralian like a bypassing ability thing. I think that would be completely fair. Should I even retake this turn? I don't know if I should. This is very concerning to look at though. These are all very high tier units. And by all I mean this. Because that's the only real unit on the map right now that I'm snowball. This is just like a boomer essentially. It's a bit of a annoying little heavy thing. I think I'll just place this here. Maybe a bomb behind it so he can't ever go in. Should be fine. I want to sacrifice some one keys anyway at some point. So this should be okay. Might also have been worth considering erratic there. And we got another level for Jin's thing. I will probably need some more XP though. Yeah, I will. Hopefully I get that from the quests that are going on right now. Can't even kill anything here, can I? That's really bad. I have to retake a point because, as you can see, my heart health is actually doomed at this point. So this is almost certainly a loss. Pretty sure. I probably waited too long in this match. Where do I even bring this? Do I just sit it here? That's like so useless though. Maybe here? You can still kill it if he really wants to. I feel like they're not gonna do that though. Maybe like that. Maybe I should have just taken the point and hit the erratic. That could have also been better there. I'm not sure. Pretty sure that game is just over though, no matter what I do. Okay, so if I do this, he will move down here and hit this, and I'm screwed, right? I think I'm screwed almost no matter what I do here. What if I do this? Then he just kills me, right? Just double hit. I think I'm boned no matter what I do here. This was the game where I couldn't win no matter what I did. I'm pretty sure. Because if I move towards the Jack and he just kills me. But if, if I try to kill this, he just kills my Jens thing. I think that's what's gonna happen here. He's gonna hit this twice. And then hit it once with this. And I'm gonna be unable to kill it. Because it will be too high health. And then I'll... Just screwed. Maybe I can move this in though. The other way is just certain death. This has like some slight chance of them making a mistake, I think. Oh, it's only five right now. It takes so long to go through all of the acings now because you have to think a lot more than at the lower levels. Jesus Christ. That has so much health. Almost always forget how much health that unit has. It's actually insane. I'm very mech heavy into that though. Not sure why I did that to myself. We certainly want an erratic in here. Problem is just now I placed that there, which I probably shouldn't do. It should just stay here. So that the erratic will have a place to walk to. That does mean I have to move the other phobies around a little bit though. But it's fine. I can put 
this year. This is kind of bad to have as my one key though, because I can't kill the bachelor with it. But what can I do? I mean, I can kill the bachelor with it, but I don't want to kill the bachelor with it, because that's not a good trade. I end up not taking the point. So, no point in doing that. I can't even want it that can I? Oh I can. What if I try to hard rush them here? Will I win that ever? If I just move down here with this, he'll move over here and hit me if I do that, I'm pretty sure. So I think I have to sit here. They will probably move up and hit my heart and then I will be forced to kill it and they will hit me for a bunch of damage. And I'll lose. I think that's a loss no matter what also, but that's just Hero 3.0 coming in. I, I can't fight that unit and win. I don't think so, at least. Not this early on. Why am I even doing that? I can just sit here, can't I? Isn't this just fine for me? Could even move in here to threaten this with the poison. Or disease, whatever you want to call it. And this is also very, very strong here. If they move in here, we can probably kill that. Maybe not. Maybe I have to bring this somewhere else so that I can kill this. Mm, maybe the Grape Digger should be sitting where this is. Because this is higher damage. Still don't think that will be enough if this actually walks up though. This is 900. This is 800. That's 17. And we have 6 here. That's 23. Yeah, that's just not enough unless I move this one tile back like this. But I can also do that. I think this is fine. This allows me to kill it if he goes in. Could also still move the Pascadi over, but I think I'm just gonna sit here actually. They're not gonna reach this point anyway. If we were even level here, I would just do this. And that would probably hurt them very much. But that's obviously not happening here. Then I just lose my gens thing, which is not a good idea, exactly. Can I bring Stabby here without falling too far behind? Let's see, what are they gonna do? They're probably gonna kill my gens thing, right? Can they kill my gens thing? I should probably calculate this. 653 plus, what was this? 340 plus a spot 1472 so they cannot kill this so this is fine to do if they could kill that I would have to move it out and that would probably instantly lose me the game on this map because that's just how Pluto works you can't move back like that This was the game where I wanted to go all in, wasn't it? Or am I misremembering? I think I wanted to go all in here. Somehow. How did I want to do that again? Oh, right, I wanted to move twice like this. And then shoot the jar cannon, right? To try and kill it. Is that correct? Yeah, that was what I wanted to try and do. And then with this, I want to... Fly over here, maybe? This doesn't really have the right place to go, the murder wing. It should probably have swapped places with the Hevo, so that I could walk in with the murdering right now and hit something. Do you think they will change where they're sitting if I change these two arounds? Don't know if they will. Maybe I could also block with this. And then do this instead. 
feel like that's gonna be too little health to block for my erratic though. Let me just try and do this and then calculate how much damage they have. Let's assume that they just straight up murder this from the vault with something. I don't think they can even do that though. Let's just assume I'm murdering. That is probably the most likely scenario. So they murdering this, then they hit it with this once. Then they have 466 plus 546 times 2 plus a couple of 5 tens. And then the snowballs, shish kebab. Top of that is. Okay, that's 3000 damage, so that is most certainly not enough. I would need to block with the Hebo if I want to do this play. I can't let my erratic die, it is my only win condition here. So that's why I'm trying to figure this out. If the erratic dies, the game ends, essentially. They could also just kill this and kill my jar cannon here. Maybe I should just straight up move in here. Since they don't have any AoE, so this takes two hits. That's probably correct. I just need the erratic to survive because it can deal a million damage to these and leech off them and stuff. So as long as it's not one hit, it will always win in the duel with these units. Like. A Hevo and a Bomangles are not going to have a fun time in a straight up fight against an Erratic. For obvious reasons. Could I upgrade the Jinsting here? No, that's far from it. It's actually one of my higher level units. So there's no shot that I'm doing that. You can just sit here, right? Was that too much? Maybe I should bring my red again here instead. Just do something like this. Mm, that feels a bit weak though. And then bringing this up here. Let's just head all the way back there. That doesn't really feel right either. I think I should just take the hit here on the erratic so that I can heal it a little bit. Even if it's not very good. Should probably hit this though instead. Move over here with it so it can lob over. Can't move this down here because then the bomb would just die, right? Oh wait, I can. I just have to move this bomb up here then. This is probably the best position I can do. 4, 8, 12... 18, then a hit from this, that's only 7 more. So I can't quite kill that even if he walks up. Unless he hits the stabby pretty hard, then maybe I can. But I'm probably just gonna focus on taking the point back and forcing them away. This dies on its own next turn, so I'm just not gonna let it hit anything. Same for this. Just gonna back off. Let the poison do the work here. Do I have any unit I can put down there? Maybe this? Do I have any ones? Yeah, I do. I can do this, maybe. I just don't want this to walk up and hit for free. I can actually just have them sit here, right? That seems okay. Then if they go in with this and this, they would die, right? Or is that enough damage to kill me? No, that's not quite enough to kill me. This will live through that, I'm pretty sure. Let's see how much under is this? What's way under? Yeah, this would live. Because this is almost 1500 and these are below 500, all of them. So we just sit here. These two are dead. They're effectively not on the board, so I only have to beat these three units on one key. It's probably still going to be pretty hard, because they will have a million traps by now, though. Like... Can I even move down here with this? I don't think I can. 
just move this down here then. Oh, this doesn't have the ability up. Then we could sit here with the Gesundheit, right? Yeah, just barely. I can. Well, not really, because this could be destroyed and then this can go in and this can shoot. Hmm. I guess I'm just sitting here. Is there a reason to bring a one key out? To take this bottom point, maybe? And then we bang for Bacilla or something, or for a seven key, maybe? Seeing all of these jar cannons at the lower ranks makes me want to go boss. But I obviously don't have boss here. But every time you see jar cannon at higher ranks, it's just like, oh, I'm going boss then. <laughs> That's just my instant reaction. Because it's so good into jar cannons. Can I even kill that? I think so. Yeah, I can. Oh, I can't. Why did I think I could... Oh, it's because I didn't use the ability, maybe? Did I not use the ability? Pretty sure I could kill that, right? Yeah, I can. For a second there, I was like, did I calculate something wrong? It was just the game cancelling my ability as per usual. I hate how the game does that. Cancel your abilities and... Like, you can't pre-queue actions and stuff like that. There's something in the system that is just annoying me there. Wow. My units just disappeared there. Jesus. Well, that's not very nice. Can I kill that? Yeah, I can. Oh, I have... Hmm. I don't really want my murdering in range of these, but I also don't want my jockin in range of those. So it's kind of hard here. I obviously have to use the bomb to kill this, but then I have to bring this in here or I have to put my murdering here, both of which are pretty bad things to do. And we have to do this. Plus they actually have the ability up so they can kill whatever I put out here essentially. Do I go double one key ever? Maybe I have to go double one key? But they're probably just still gonna kill that thing. I think I had to go double one key and bring a Jin Sting or something. Hope that does the job. Maybe they won't go in here, because I have a couple units. I doubt they won't go in here, though. I don't think putting this here and having the jar down here is better, is it? No, I don't think it is. I think this is just the best I can do. Also, he's gonna one-hit whichever one key I put there, unfortunately. With the murder wing, if he wants to. That game was always gonna be hard. I don't know if I will be able to actually win that or not. Maybe I can, but I'm not sure. It's just dead on its own. Should I kill this? Feels like a pretty bad kill, right? Because he's gonna AoE me. But I'm still gonna win by doing this, so whatever. I can also sit in here with this. I'm not using the ability because then I would take this dimensional damage. There's no reason to do that. We can just let him kill the instinct and then kill the Klepto next turn. Which I think I have enough for. Because the mother load has a lot of damage. That one is a win. We're getting pretty close to this now. I actually haven't finished a game in this run. That's pretty wild. That one, huh? Does that mean I have to go for the heart here? I feel like maybe it does.
Does this die? No. But it's also a little bit much to place it in range of that in such a way. Maybe I do it this way. Both of these just die then though, don't they? Yeah, they do. 710. That is a lot of attack power. That is level 15. How the hell do I deal with that then? That will one hit any of my units. Huh. Guess I'm just trying to play for hard damage, maybe. I can't really do anything else, can I? Like, if I stay here to kill this, he will walk up and hit me for a million with that. If I do this, we'll just kill whichever unit I put here. And he also has this thing to heal it, if he needs to. This might be a hard game to win. Because my units are gonna take a million damage from this. And it's too high level. So it's gonna be hard to even kite this or anything like that. Maybe I have to like bring it over here and then go for like a backdoor kind of thing. I'm not sure exactly which unit I should put in here. Because I feel like I maybe should take it with this. But then I also kind of want to take this point down here though. The more points I have, the better it is here by a lot. Maybe I just sacrifice both of those. That feels completely wrong to do though. I hate every move I can make here, essentially, what this comes down to. Maybe I go all in on this, but that never works out, does it? Me doing something like this. Actually, is this my best move? No, because this just one shot gets one shot right if I do this, and then I can't kill this. Actually, I could kill that, but I would lose these units killing it. No, oh, it would also get healed. So I can't do that at all. I guess I'm just poking this without even killing it then. Screw it. Just do this. Keep out of range from it for now. I have to find some way to like lure it over here or, and then maybe run around. Or just run it in circles with the lower movement speed, I think. Or I have to like dive onto it after killing every other unit. It's one of those two options that have to happen. Can't kill both of these, can I? Maybe I can with a hit from this. No, I don't think that's enough still. Probably still worth doing it this way though. They can't really approach this and they can't approach this either. So that's probably a win. Oh, I also have two keys. I guess I'll bring a K9000 in here. That's an old game, I think. Pretty sure that's an old game. It's not even enough to do a lot of damage to this. But whatever. That doesn't quite kill. Wow, oh, so I have to use the AoE on this, unfortunately. Just gonna hit this twice, even though I could go onto the stem, but it doesn't matter. Unfortunately, can't end the game here, but I mean, the game is over. Just can't end it a turn early. This game looks scary because they can uh, kill this with AoE now if they really want to. 
which also means this can't go down there. Do I just have to go all in here? Couldn't they kill this if I go all in? Let me just try here to see what this looks like. What, do I go all on it on their heart though? I don't know if that's a good idea. Also can't really bring this in in a good way. Because it's gonna die to this combo. So I would have to bring it behind here. That's so bad also though. Maybe I like just sit with it there. Because this can't actually kill it. If I go here with this, does it live through an attack by these? And does this live after hitting that? If it hits that? This will get hit for 230 there. And then, no, it actually lives. Even if it gets hit by this, which is a little bit more damage. Can also block for it actually with the K9000 if I'm going in here anyway. So we do this. This thing just dies if it goes anywhere near them though. And this can't quite reach over here, unfortunately. I win the hard wish, right? Pretty sure I do. I can force them to come to me over here. Maybe do something like this. This can even stay there. Then if they go in, I can airy them here, double hit. It's kind of sketchy. This can't actually kill this, I don't think. In any way, because it can't even get lopped on. So I have 4, 8, 12, 16, 24 damage here, and then we get another 2 or 4 from this maybe. It's very close to me being able to kill them already then. Should probably bring this all the way over here in that case, so that I can get another hit in with it. This is not gonna get a hit no matter what, so I might as well keep it here. Could have also maybe been worth it to place this aggressively so they're forced to kill it. And then I can just summon another unit. That might be better. Why did they leave their jack cannon so exposed here? Do they have like some secret plan that I don't see? That was a very bad play by them. I might actually be able to win this, which I think I wouldn't be if they just stayed still. Can I kill that? I'm pretty sure I can. Didn't I calculate that I would be able to kill that? With all of these units here? Yeah, I can. Just have to protect my jar cannon if I do this though. Because otherwise this is gonna do an AoE. And that wouldn't even be enough actually. And just sit here. Maybe I just stay out here. Sitting here is so much more threatening though. Let's see, so they just kill this. But like one hit plus an AoE and then they kill this. That's what ha what's happening right now. Am I okay with that? Or is there a better play here maybe? What if I kill that instead? But I'm never killing this though is the problem. Am I? Maybe I can kill it like this and then with the jar? Yeah I can, but then I can't kill that. Mm. This Temptress is actually pretty good into me right now. Maybe I should take the damage on the Stabby. Because then it's not getting pulled in, so he can't hit with this. That's probably better. And the stabby is likely going to die no matter what here. So we just sit like this then. Maybe. What if he just kills my jack and though? Maybe I should do this. 
even though it makes this one's AoE better and better. But if he goes in and AoEs with this, I think I win, probably. So that's not that big a deal. Oh, they just AoE on them middling here. I want to kill this, but I don't think I can in any way, so I fo I'm forced to just kill this, unfortunately. And then we move away with these units. Because they obviously do not want to be in here. Just completely out. Does this still have the freeze? Yeah, it does. Then maybe I kill with a mix of these two. Do it like this so that he can't freeze it. And then move this a little bit away. Actually, I'm far away. Then he hits with the with the 3.0 though. Maybe I just have to let that get free like frozen. Just say that's fine. Or maybe I do this. And then I move away with this so that he can't hit me with the burn. Hmm, but then he's just freezing this though. I think I should just do what I were originally doing here. And move these in. This can probably hit that. But then this might go in. This can sit there and be safe. This is obviously hitting that once and then moving away. Could also move up here. Nah, because then it's in danger of dying. I don't want that. I don't think so at least. Actually, it's probably good for me if he goes over here and kills it with this. Because then I just kill that thing, right? Maybe. I think so. As long as he can't kill this unit, I think I'm good. Is essentially what it comes down to. But if he walks in here and hits this, and goes over here and AoEs here, then I hit this twice. I hit it with this once. Maybe hit his here. Is that enough to kill that? No, I would need to hit it with everything, and that's not even enough. So I can't play, put the widowing there, it has to be here. There's no other place to put it. And this is fine here, I think. If he goes up and hits it, I can kill the rocket man. And then I should automatically win because it's hero 3.0 against the erratic in endgame. And I also just have all of the panic points. So I can probably hard rush them if I need to. Yeah, here they went aggressive with a drony. Like I were thinking they might do. Ooh, I can only it this way and then take one of these it's really bad though so i want to take one of the, i wanted to take this essentially can't even kill that can i huh what if i hit this twice is that even enough nope well i have to kill this and i also have to take a point back preferably Actually, do I need to take a point back? What if I just don't take a point back here? What if I take this point like this? Yeah, I think that's better. And then we just kill this thing. And we occupy this so that he can't take it. I don't even think you can reach this tile down here, right? No, they can't, because they can't fly over my units, I don't think, with Droni. Yeah, there's no way to actually get that point, and this is safe here, because these are not threats to it. I'm pretty sure this is a win, then. Just have to be careful that they don't ever get on my heart with the Droni, but it should be possible with my units, so it's fine. Back to this one again. This still looks very bad for me. I feel like I can maybe kill that thing. 
But I need teleports this in though. That doesn't even kill me though, so I think I should just kill that. And beg off if they go in. Can maybe do some like semi aggressive thing here. This is almost dead. At least it got AoE'd by that. Can't really put this up here though, if I take with the K9000. Maybe I put it here? No, because then I still can't take with K9000. This doesn't have this shop, right? No, it doesn't. So you can at worst put it here. That's still very bad for me though. If he does that. This K9000 kind of needs to go, but I can't really sacrifice it. Because if I sacrifice it, it comes really hard to like place my mother load in the right spot here. Where it doesn't get hurt for free by a ton of damage. Maybe I do this. Then we keep this here and this here. This still seems pretty bad overall. But it's a little bit wor li little bit less worse. Or less bad. He will just take this and put it here though and hit twice. As it is right now, I think. He actually wants to kill this, though. I don't think they want to go out here with this, do they? Because then I'll join them in. Whatever, I'm just trying to do this. I want the K9000 out so that I can summon a larger unit instead of it. And if I lose that, it's kind of understandable. I mean, the best unit in the game and then two very good ultra rares. Probably not beating that with this account. At least gonna be hard. Am I dead here? Not quite down here. I mean, I am because this will move in and checkmate it, but I can kill this first. Do I just move in with this and start fighting that? Or do I wait a turn? If I wait a turn, they might just move down here. I think I have to recap. Which is pretty bad because they can like hit it and run. Maybe. And I'm forced to walk into them. Oh, that went less bad than I expected here, I think. This could have been worse. By a lot. I can sting that. And then just call this... Like, fight off. Run away for a little bit. Maybe. This still has the ability, actually. Maybe I should move all the way down here with this and just keep this here. Not even sure if it's right to splash onto that. It might be better to keep it to threaten the enemy jar. Should I do that instead? I think it's probably a better idea. Just doing this. Actually, maybe my murdering should be there, even. Let me just move the jar cannon there. I'm moving a lot round, around here. There's no reason to go this in depth on it, but... I want to set it up so that I can maybe do some good things here. Still can't kill that, actually. <laughs> Which is pretty wild. Maybe I have to do the AoE. If I don't do the AoE, I'm not even threatening the murder wing. But then I'm threatening the jar cannon instead, so it's a question of which one I want to threaten the most. I probably want to threaten this the most, so I'm just doing this. The murder wing is just very high level, so I have to use the AoE there to actually lower its health so that it's scared of the jar cannon murder wing combo thing. Oh, they went down there. That's very curious. That's a really weird play, to not freeze anything and just go for the small unit here. can actually do this and just kill them, I think. 
just sit like this down here. If he goes in on this, he's taking 1800 and then dying, right? Yeah, I think so. So I can just move this here. Can't actually move it any further out, can I? Maybe like this. Then the worst they can do is move here. And this would then hit them for, like I said, 900 times 2. So that's 1800 and then we kill it with these two. And if they go down here, we can also kill it. So this just seems fine. And they're going to die really, really soon. Because they're taking 1000 every turn and I also have a K9000 on them. So that's like 3000 damage every time all of the turns are taken. I mean, I'm obviously game over here. There's no way I'm winning this ever. Right, like, I'm just dead next turn. Quite literally. They can either kill my units or they can kill my heart. I think that might be the first time I ever lose to Ogre. <laughs> Which is, I mean, that's my fault because I'm playing bad units here and I'm also a little bit bad when it comes to levels right now. Like... Really, he went in there with the Erratic. Should I move up here or should I hit this twice and move away? I can either... There are like two plays here. There's this play. Oh, I should hit this then, right? No, I should hit this twice if I'm doing this play. There's this play where I do this. Which, let's just see, if they move in here, they lose pretty much. So this is a fine play. The other play would be hitting this to heal extra. Backing off with this. And then moving in with this to threaten their heart. Then if they move in with this and do a 4, 8, 12. Actually, if they move here, they kind of can't do much. But that's also fine because they're not really in a position to any to do anything. I think this ends the game faster. And I also think they should have won this game, what they threw. Which is great for me. I mean, whatever. I'm not gonna complain over that. But that one shouldn't have been a win. This one looks like I'm gonna get ran around by the Hevo because it's faster than me. It's gonna run around and take points and I'm not gonna be able to keep up. I'm pretty sure. Could kill that right now. That's a bad idea. Could also just do this. Which is a little bit better of an idea. Also, I have three keys and only terrible units in here. Am I really summoning this piece of garbage? That's so bad though. <laughs> I should probably not have summoned something here. Maybe this Razor Mouse shouldn't have been in the game so that I could go for a 4 key. The 4 keys aren't even that good though because they're not high level here. Pretty sure this is just a loss then. I'll bring this over here. And then... Even if I put this here, it can't attack anything. What is this for? I need another hit from something. I have to do this, I think. Which is pretty bad. And then we bring a... Jackalope King in here, maybe. That's such a bad unit to bring in here. This at least has a bit more health, but it's also not good into any of these things. Mm. So if I'm doing everything right here, I'm doing 500. Then I have these two. This is just not enough damage though. How am I even ever gonna kill these two? But just stay away from this. Like this plus an AOE on that. 
Yeah, I could kill this, right? If I get the perfect hits. I think I'm just gonna try for this and hope that they don't notice what I'm doing. So what I want to do next turn is I want to AoE on this, hit it with the Razor Mouth, move this in, hit this and then fly over and kill this. And then we will have killed these two units, which is decent, I guess. Not great, though. And then I guess I'm running a Jackalope King for some reason. Which is pretty pathetic. Maybe that should take the spot of this. So that it doesn't just die here. But if they kill it here, it's bad for them. So I think this is fine. Pretty sure I lost this though. Because they still have three key, key setting. They're much stronger. Plus I also had to bring a terrible unit. Because I don't have anything better to bring in there. Wow. Did something just die? I feel like... Multiple things just disappeared. Stabby definitely died. What else died? Was it K9000? Probably. If I bring this in here, can I kill it? I don't think I can. Right, because I can only hit it with these three units. And maybe one hit from the Jin Sting. That's not nearly enough, right? Uh, that's a bit off. Almost, though. This is definitely just game over. I don't have any way of coming back here. Because this unit is just too broken. Pretty sure I'm just screwed. Actually, I mean, I am screwed, but maybe I can kill this thing. At least. This turn. I'm not even sure if I can kill that in a good way, though. No, I can't. I'm too low damage here do anything real. Guess I'll just swap this in here, because why not kill this thing. Just use this as a movement for my Radiant rather than anything else. Should I fly in and kill this with the... Oh, I can't even fly in and kill it with the Murdering. It's not enough damage. Here it gets to AoE me though. I don't really like doing that. I think I'm just gonna do it this way. I have almost certainly lost this game though, no matter what I do here. I'm pretty sure this is just game over. But I mean, even on my main account, I don't think I have as good of a unit quality as that. Like the unit quality there is absolutely insane. Why am I not dead? Couldn't they just kill me? Pretty sure they could have just killed me there. Like, they had enough power to kill everything. I mean, I'm dead here either way. They're just... I'm pretty sure they could have killed the heart there. And not delayed the game a turn. They probably put a trap here, actually. Let's just make sure that the trap here doesn't hurt any of my units, if there is one. Also, the drone doesn't really need to go there, but where is it even going? Like, it doesn't matter. Oh, there's no trap there, apparently. Whatever. It's fine. Better to be safe. Did they just hit my heart again? Oh, they're just DMing. Great job, dude.
Better just bring a one key up here. I think that's a bad idea, right? Or is that a good idea? Depends on whether or not this just dies to a murder wing, but I don't think it does. I hope not. This was probably their best play, I'm pretty sure, because they moved this away from everything else, but I'm pretty sure it's still just dead. And their heart is also just dead. So... I don't even need to double hit. I can just do this. And take the stem. We actually haven't finished any games today, other than this one I just finished. But everything else has just been games that kept on going. Maybe I should do some arenas after this. I have to start three more here. Because I want to get the tears for the pack. I wonder if I should try starting with one key into Hevo on this map. I don't think that's better. Might be decent if you have unbearable to try and go for that early, but I think it's not good enough with Hevo. Grave there is probably still better though, even if the other thing is maybe viable to some degree. Grave Digger is just too good of a unit to not bring early on. You don't really have to bring it turn one. It's actually often better to like, play for tempo, but at these lower ranks, playing for tempo is sometimes just or not lower ranks, but lower levels. Playing for tempo is sometimes just suicide. So I don't think I want to do that. Should I try for an old, like a very early stabby here? I kind of want to try an early stabby into a hero to just have two tanks online very early in the game here. Even if it means they can take the middle point with the Snowborn. I could have brought Murdering out so that they couldn't go to the middle point with the Snowball, but I think it's okay if they do that. It's probably fine. Hopefully. Okay, this looks pretty bad for me. Can I kill something here? I mean, I can, but I can't really kill enough. Isn't it better to hit this twice, maybe? We're always going to do this, right? That's just a good hit. And place for that to be. Question is just what I do here, because I can fly in and kill this with my Murdering, but then the Murdering just dies to this. And this fight isn't even good for me either, because this is higher level. But if I move here, I'm also just taking free damage and losing my erratic, so that's also bad. Wait, I couldn't kill this with my Hevo, right? No, not even close. Unfortunately. This looks lost if I do this, though. Right? They hit twice here. This is dead. This can't really go in in any way. This just loses to this in a one versus one pretty much every time because he's healing way more. Mm. But if I go in here like this, I will just straight up lose my erratic to these two, I'm pretty sure, and this attacking. What if I block it like this? That's so bad though. Then I just lose my Hevo, right? Yeah, I do. And I still take a million damage on that. Don't think I can actually go in there with the Erratic to do the good play where I kill a bunch of stuff. Unfortunately. Which means I'm forced into this, which I believe is just a losing... This is a losing play, I think. But I don't think there's a better play either.
need like 500 damage here. I mean, I can do some with the jar cannon, so we don't really need that much actually. Maybe I should even jar cannon here. They went for this down here. Could place a jar cannon here, right? And just be super annoying. It's not even that good though, because that only really works if you have a high level jar. Guess I'll just do the normal kind of thing here. If you have a very high level jar, you can like kind of cheese the opponent if they ever go for a unit down there. Just shoot them for free and be super annoying. Okay, what am I doing here? Bringing this down here, I think, and then bringing the stabby up towards here. And then the hero out. Or do I just bring the stabby straight up too forward and go heal it after he shoots it? I think that's fine too. This is probably just taking the top point there anyway. They banked for 8, which is concerning. That screams beauty to me right here. Although hopefully it's something a little bit less strong. Can I even go here? It's gonna go here and shoot me, right? I just have to bring a murder wing down. Instead of stabby for a turn here. Now they can't really go in, I think. Yeah, this is enough. So we can do this. And be good. Because we don't want that to get a free hit with the fire. That would be bad for me. That's another one, so now we just need one more to get the next tier pack. The next tier pack would also give me an upgrade for my Jin Sting. Yeah, like I said, everything is just gonna die here. Don't even think I have a one key, right? No, I don't. GG though, this was actually fairly close, considering how much better their units are. And they also played it fairly patiently, all things considered. Some players might have like lost that despite having a pretty large advantage early on. If I hit this twice, do I not just still die? Pretty sure I still just die, right? To this thing. Yeah, I do. And if I move back here, I still just die. Oh no, I don't. I just barely live if I move back like that. So I guess I'm doing this, which is pretty bad also, but maybe they make a mistake. Because this is what, five? Yeah, I believe I survived this, right? It's just a little bit off being able to kill me if I do this. Maybe if they move in with both of them and try to kill the erratic and just submit their turn too fast, I can win that. That's not likely to happen though. That's essentially hoping that they do something completely incorrect. Put a boom out here so they can't go in. This is not gonna go in here and hit, I don't think. If it does, I can probably kill it. With like a Gesund hide and something. Yeah, I think I can. I could probably also destroy the block. I don't remember the cooldown. They actually keep on dealing damage to my heart here, which is rather annoying. I should probably kill that and put the gator there instead of the other one. Instead of the drone, I should say. Because the 
Venus might very well have put a trap there. Which we don't want to let kill uh, Roni right now. We can put it here. And then maybe we can even fly down here and start attacking the heart with it. Just to be annoying. Mm, we can also kill that at least. We get a little bit more tears out of this. I really want this unit. I think if I had gotten the, um, what's his name, Phantom on this account, I would play for it on a, uh, I would play this account for a very long time. This is what, eight every hit? Eight, 16, so I can actually walk forward here and hit this, right? I think this is correct. If they hit twice here, we can hit this twice and once with this to heal a little bit and maybe go out of range. How much do I heal from doing this? 1100. That would be enough. So maybe they make a mistake here and hit twice and just sit here. Basically gotta hope that they make some pretty major mistakes here to have any chance. I think even if they make all of the mistakes, I probably still lose. But might as well test it to see if they do something dumb. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what the hell? They just went all in there. Jesus. That's a lot of aggression. If I kill this, I get pulled in, unfortunately. Which means I can't put my bomb there. So I can only ever hit once with this. Probably want to AoE this, right? I'm thinking I want to at least. Because then this kills this thing. And then we just need to kill that, which should be doable. Maybe we do it like this. Is that enough? Do I need to hit it twice? No, I don't. This is pretty good. And we can move back with this and move out with a one key. There's probably a, a single trap somewhere. Or is there? Oof, 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 oof. Maybe there's no traps actually. Should probably watch the replay on that one to make sure that there are no traps. Also, I don't think this is going to be enough for the tiers actually. It's going to be a little bit off. Yeah, 50 off. I should look at the game for this one. Just quickly to see if there are any traps. That's pretty important. To check. Corn went here. Then went here. Then went there. So there is a trap. Right? It just placed a trap on this turn. So there could be a trap in any of this, 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 basically anywhere around it right now, but they are probably the most likely to be under this. I don't think I will remember that for tomorrow, but it's still important to check just to <laughs> make sure. Maybe, maybe I remember it and it might end up mattering. Because not stepping in a trap with the 100 health stabby is very important there. But just lose that unit, which would otherwise, you know, both do the dimensional damage and actually be a little bit annoying to deal with. Then it's pretty bad for me. Ooh, close to another mother load upgrade, actually. Man. The GX feels so disappointing when you have so many bad units, actually. How far am I on this? Two more. And then we have this, which I want to upgrade, but I need a little bit more to do that. Maybe we can get a couple things here. I think if I move here, I get trapped. I don't really want to do that. I think I'm just going to hit it with this, actually, and keep the stabby safe. 
just be as annoying as possible. Also, I can destroy here. The only places where there can be traps are these tiles. So I'll just keep myself off those tiles right now. Maybe I want this sitting here actually. 710. That one hits this. Wow. But I can kill it if he does that, right? 4, 8, 12, 16. Yeah, I can. I just don't really want him to do it still. Put it up here maybe, so that if he does it, I can hit it for free with this. I'm banking here because maybe I want to be annoying to the Gesundheit. Oh, they went all in here. Can I kill this then? Yeah, I can, but it's not gonna be good for me still. We do this, maybe. This is still dead, but he needs to waste both hits on it. I mean, this is always game over then, right? There's no way for me to ever get out of here. This can't kill on its own, and this can't even flee. This is just game over, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, well, on the bright side, I get my tears. Hopefully, if they respond fast enough. Which would be nice, so that I can end up with opening that pack at the end of this. Don't I just... Uh, why was that Kerb Loom there? What the? <laughs> that made absolutely no sense at all. Literally zero sense to put that thing there. Let's move this thing up also with this, I think. Bomb here. What do I want with these five? I want to stab you in here so that I can put it down here after destroying that block. We can go mother load next turn. Not sure why they just threw away a curb loom there, but they still have nine keys saved up. They've shown some very good units so far, so that's very scary. That like completely screams that it's gonna be a hero 3.0. Which is not a unit I'm doing very well into as you can see right now. He's just gonna run over here if I do this. I have to like go here and go on ladder or something. Maybe I go here and then I force over here. There are not any traps, right? No, there are not. This is gonna go here. I force over here. Then it just dies. There are no place I can make here. I lose no matter what, I'm pretty sure. If I do this, he will just take this point and then run over here and kill me. And if I do this and I try to go in next turn, he's gonna kill me straight up with these. So I'm just gonna lose here no matter what. You need one more, like one or two more units to actually have Erratic Solo, the Hero 3.0. But you need to make it so they can't run away. They're actually doing pretty well at taking back points here. But I think this is the end of it because they have no more units. That should be fine. Wait, maybe I should take that with my Murder Wing just to make sure that I actually get it that it can't die to a trap or anything. They should attack first. Oh, it's actually full health, then it doesn't matter. I'm doing this because if there is a Venus trap here, these would die if they step onto this, which means I wouldn't get the point, and I would also lose a unit. Not that it matters here, but wow, there were traps both places. I still don't think it matters, but may as well make sure. Yeah, here they're just being annoying. If I go in here, then they just walk over here, right? If I go here, they just walk over there. They can always stay behind an obstacle. If I do this, I just die, right? Let's see, 476 times 2 plus 130 something. I think I just die if I do this. Pretty sure. I 
it, it actually doesn't exactly die. So I can maybe do this, but I don't think it's gonna end well. I think he's just gonna hit me once and walk away. But that's probably my best bet, still. That's also enough for me to actually upgrade this unit, I think. Yep, 27 over, which means I'm instantly doing it. Didn't really get enough XP to be able to throw them out on a couple. I would need, what, 5,000 to do this, where I just mix it out on a bunch of, of the units I haven't upgraded. That's a bit, like, that's a lot of XP to need, though. Wow, they went very aggressive here. They're trying to kill me. That is kind of unexpected, to be honest. I didn't think they were being that aggressive so far. But that is suddenly very, very aggressive. Can I even kill this thing? Eight hundred. I would have to bring this to kill it. I should. Should I actually? I should take all of these points if I'm doing this. That's what I should do. And then block him from entering here. And then we kill this with that. That's still very, very scary that he has a high five sitting up here because this cannot block high five for long. It dies very, very quickly. So I have to do this, take this point with a 1p and rotate everything up here immediately. Or I will just die before I get to play the game. The Hebo can luckily tank the high five for a turn, I think. So, I mean, I just die next turn no matter what I do here. I think I'm just gonna hit it twice, right? This was a pretty close one, though. Obviously, I mean, we're both sitting with one unit at the end. Ow. Now I just die if I do this. Unfortunately. And I can't kill that fully. If I do this, it just goes in here. Yeah, it's the same situation as before. Where I can't really kill anything. In a way that matters. I should just hit this and get some XP. I'm seeing a lot of Hebo 3.0s, but I guess I am at the higher ranks also. Oh, I'm at Doomsday. I don't know if I would call that high rank, but... It's reasonable rank, at least. I can take this thing now. Sacrifice that unit. Do I bring my Grave Digger now? I don't think I do. I think I want a primate. Maybe a bomb? Can go in here. Seems fine. I almost feel like I see more Hero 3.0s at this rank than at high Summer Fall Fierce rank, which I find weird. Because there should be more people at the top that have it, considering how insanely strong it is. How did I even do today? Did I just lose one game or something? Or what was the record for here? Or oh, I've only had these. So two losses and two wins is what it's looking like. I wish you could see the points in here. I think I started with more points than I have right now. But I'm not certain, to be honest. How much am I losing per loss? Probably a lot, right? Because it's trying to force my rank down. Oh, just 10. I thought it would be more. But I guess the system doesn't work that way. Anyway, we finally got enough for the scary pack here. Which is probably just gonna be XP more than anything. But maybe we get a new good unit. That would be very nice. Nope, just XP. And some cards. At least it's a decent chunk of XP for where I'm at. So how do I spend this? Do I just upgrade the Gralian and then a bunch of others? Maybe this is higher priority. This gives me five. I would have to put one in each of those. That would not be enough to unlock the clinical. 
what if I do this? Then I can only put one more. I think six, seven. That would be three off. I would need a bunch more. Could also invest like one here, one here. Um, one here, one here, one here. That's 5,000 to unlock clinical. But there are units which I will not be using for a while. Probably better to just upgrade the units that I will actually use here. Do I use Pascadi or do I use Gesundheit more? Both are kind of crap. I guess I'll use Pascadi more because I'm starting to go on large maps. Maybe. Yeah, now I'm five away up there, which means I do this upgrade or I maybe do an upgrade for one of the other units in here. Maybe even this, probably not this. Also just 700 XP would actually do it. And I could just do like this, this, and maybe either Thunder Rocks or something else. That would be enough. Or I could do this and one other. Do I have any other level 2s? Or I could just upgrade one unit twice. I would just need 500 XP then. I'll probably do that in the next episode, but I'll end it here because I went through a lot of games and this is already very, very, very long, I think. Yeah, it's 1 hour and 40 minutes almost. So that is more than enough for today, I think. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.